guys, Pastor Kelly here this Wednesday evening at an undisclosed location somewhere south of Dodge. Hey man, uh, check it out. Isn't it beautiful? And, and Don and I have been here for the last day or two, very grateful to be able to get away and have a little bit of time. But also, it's the splendor of God's creation is amazing. I was just looking at the ocean, the, the sheer power of the ocean is, is just almost unbelievable if you think about the life that's in the ocean. Last night we walked on, on top of this little jetty thing, there were lights down and you could see fish by the thousands and thousands just down there in the water and uh, just the power of it, giant boats coming back and forth all day. It's an incredible thing. Can you imagine just the power of the ocean? notwithstanding the whole power of the universe, the solar system, and everything that I always talk about. And, and, and it reminded me of the story of where Jesus had got in a boat with his disciples, okay? And I believe this is like in Matthew chapter eight, somewhere thereabouts. Jesus had got in a boat with his disciples and they were crossing over the sea there. He fell asleep in the boat and a storm came up and the boat began to <laughs> be rocked and the boat began to sink and wave water was coming in and it was crazy and his disciples got afraid because they didn't understand what was going on. All they could see was what was happening right now. So guys, I want you to stop and think about everything that's gone on in your life in the past, things that are going on right now and things that you don't even know about in the future. And if all you can see is what's happening right now, and you don't see the bigger picture, man, you'll get afraid. You'll freak out. You won't understand. Those guys did not understand that when Jesus said, we're going to the other side, when he spoke those creative words, that meant that nothing could stop them from getting to the other side, including, but not limited to a storm. Okay, so they finally went, woke him up, Jesus, Jesus, you don't even care that we perish. Kind of like us today, we want to whine and we want to blame God. Suddenly it was, it was his fault, you know, in their minds. You don't even care that we're going to perish, man. And so Jesus said, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? How could you doubt? The Bible says that he stood up there and he said, peace, be still. And immediately... The waves were smooth, the storm was over, and there was peace. Now, man, I'm going to tell you something. And, and even then, they went, wow, what kind of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? Well, he was not just an ordinary man, y'all. And it was an incredible thing. And so as I was just pondering on, on this, the last 24 hours is pretty amazing. But it wasn't long after that, in the chapter after that, Jesus said another powerful thing. He said, if any man, now who are you following? Who are you following today? What are you longing for? Jesus said, if any man come after me, or if any man would follow me if you want to follow me he said to deny yourself that rules us out right there most of us what do you mean by deny yourself because most of the time all we're thinking about is ourselves I'm not saying that to slam anybody we're just humans that's kind of the way we are man and Jesus said you're gonna have to change your nature if any man wants to follow after me let him deny himself Take up his cross and follow me. He didn't just say deny yourself. So if you want to be a Christ follower, listen, I'm not just talking about this evening getting your ticket punched into heaven. I'm talking about following Jesus with your whole heart. I'm talking about exchanging the kingdom that you know, that maybe even you're comfortable with, even in its pain even in its agony, even in its misery. Some people are more comfortable in their misery than they are in the kingdom of the unknown. And Jesus said, take that kingdom, cast it away, and follow me. Take up, deny yourself. That's hard. 
And then the next thing he said is take up your cross. Now back then, and I say this all the time in New Beginnings, you, you know you've heard me say this a thousand times, but the, the symbol of a cross in our culture, in our, in our world today is a religious symbol, man. People wear a cross around their neck. People have cross tattoos. People have, you know, cross earrings, jewelry that's crossed, and they, it, it symbolizes something that's Christian. Now, back in those days, when he said, take up your cross, the cross was only an instrument of death. Can you imagine what those Jewish boys thought that day, and girls, when Jesus said, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me, take up the instrument of death that the world uses to kill people with? Are you kidding me? That's what he said. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. He said, for if anybody loves his life, he'll lose it. If anybody's not afraid to lose his life, he'll gain life. It's crazy, man. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So tonight, I just want to ask you, I'm not going to hold you a long time, but I'm going to ask you, man, what's on your agenda? Who are you following? What's the most important thing to you? How's it working out for you? Exchange kingdoms. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow him. I can guarantee you the same Jesus that can calm the seas, the same Jesus that can calm the storm, the same Jesus that has power over the elements, also has power over everything related to and connected to you and I in this world. Our bodies, our families, our jobs, our communities, he is in control. I found out something about Jesus though. He doesn't take control of your life unless you hand it to him. He's very much a gentleman. He doesn't just reach and grab it and take things from you. He says, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. So today, man, I don't know where you're at on your spiritual journey. I don't know where you're at in your walk with Christ or even if you have a walk with Christ. I hope it's not just about getting your, your punch card punched. I hope it's not. But I hope it's about exchanging kingdoms. In fact, in the New Testament it says that we've been translated from one kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of His glorious light. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a price to be paid. There's things that happen. Yeah, there's good, bad, and ugly sometimes. But nothing can compare to the Savior that still has power over the wind and over the waves. He says, I change not. He's Jesus. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I hope this encourages you tonight. But take up your cross. Follow Jesus. Yes, it may cost you everything. I can tell you, yeah, sooner or later, it's going to cost you everything. But my friends, it will be worth it. This brief moment of possible pain, this brief moment sometimes of agony can't be compared to the glory, his word says, that will be revealed in us. God bless you tonight. I appreciate you watching. We appreciate you. Keep Don and me in your prayers. We're going to do our best and within the next week or so, we're going to open everything back up, have our classes at New Beginnings again. Uh, on Wednesday nights and have everything in order, we hope. Uh, I appreciate those of you that support us and have supported. Uh, I know a lot of you are, are, are church folk are at home watching and you've been faithful to send it in. You've been faithful to give. If you like to, at the top of the Facebook page, you'll see the donate button. You can click on that donate button on New Beginnings Church of Brownwood and whatever you give goes straight to New Beginnings Church. You can get on our link on PayPal, pay us via PayPal or whatever. But I just appreciate you watching. And I hope today that somebody makes a decision to follow Jesus. And if you've made that decision tonight, let me know. If you're ready to make that decision today, if you say, man, I've tried every other kingdom, I've tried every other thing, and I'm ready, then, then say this prayer with me. This is a gateway. This is, a, this is an entrance way. This is a door to get in. So if that's you and you say, man, 
I want to follow Jesus. Or maybe I've been away from him. Maybe I've never known him. And you want to follow him? Say this prayer with me, if you will. And I appreciate it. Just say this with me. Holy Father, I pray in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, that you forgive me of my sin. That you make me clean. Lord, that you make me whole. I confess that I've been a sinner. I confess that I've been away from you. And I ask you, Lord, right now to forgive my sin. Wash me and make me whole. I declare right now that Jesus Christ is Lord over me, over all of me, body, soul, and spirit. Thank you for the power of forgiveness, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Today, I'm a brand new creature. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you Sunday. Sunday morning, we'll be right back in our building. Sunday morning, 1030, 1001 Bell Plain Street in Brownwood, Texas. Y'all come. Bye now.